Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Dexcom G6 sensor and transmitter so they can be reused again later. This is great so you can stockpile a few extra sensors in case one fails or if you go on a trip or just need an extra for some reason. I'll put a piece of paper on the desk so this is a bit easier to see. There's a little notch right here where the transmitter clips into the sensor. There's one of these on each side. Once you get it in, that's meant to hold the transmitter in place so that you cannot reuse your transmitter. We're gonna fix that. So at the bottom is where it clips in and at the top is where you're gonna to wanna to slide in a credit card or butter knife or I like to actually use a toothpick, but we're gonna make a little notch right here with a file. Right above the notch here, you don't wanna file the notch off, you're gonna file the top side. You're gonna file right here. See if you just barely rounded off the top there. This would be much easier with a little bit smaller file. Just try to notch that just a little bit so that the toothpick can fit in to release that clip from the transmitter. Now do the same thing on the other side here. And keep in mind, you wanna be very careful not to file away this little notch. If you do, it, your transmitter will not be held in place the next time you try to use it. So you gotta be real careful not to ruin the transmitter. You're just gonna file the very top here. What you can see on the top is we've just ever so slightly notched this little edge here so you can fit a toothpick or a butter knife or credit card down in that slot to eject it the next time. I did nick that just a little bit, but it's not enough to actually keep it from clipping into place. Same thing over here. I just touched that with the file, but didn't actually damage it. So now you'll just insert this as usual, start your session. At the end of the 10 days, once it expires, you use a toothpick or credit card or something smooth and slender that you can poke into the side here to release those clips. You'll remove the transmitter from the sensor, set a timer on your phone for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes expires, you'll put this back into the same sensor, restart it using the code, and everything should work fine. As you can see now, I've restarted the transmitter in the old sensor and it's performing the warm up. Okay, looks like I'm down to one hour remaining for the warm up as I'm reusing a Dexcom G6 transmitter and sensor. This is a good sign we're down to 27 minutes left and it's still warming up with no errors. Hey, this is awesome. Okay, so it looks like the sensor is working to be reused on the Dexcom G6 using the method I just shared. So that's pretty exciting. This is not good though. My sugar is extremely high. I am very brittle diabetic and I'm unaware, you know, if I've got higher or low blood sugars, I can't ever tell. And so looks like I need to do an insulin shot right away. I did just test with a finger stick and I was 360. So it looks like the reused Dexcom G6 transmitter is very accurate. So I'm gonna get a shot right now, but I just wanted to show you guys this reused transmitter is working. Have any of you guys used the overstick patches? That's one of the problems with using a Dexcom G6 transmitter for more than 10 days. The adhesive tends to fall off. Any ideas, suggestions? Thanks guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hope this helped you guys out a lot.